69 rubies. Nice. Um, well, I guess we'll make a ruby hook because I, I did bemoan one of these times how I did not enjoy the slime hook and how it is a multi hook. Can I make that into something? Why is that a material? Oh, it's just a I'm K Sushi thing. Got it. All right. Welcome back to the Thorium Bard uh, Let's Play. Let's Play? That's not how I've been phrasing this. Whatever. It's the same thing. It's a playthrough. Let's Play. Same difference. I guess we're going to be starting by getting gravity potions, gravitation potions. I forgot what they were called. I'm like, they're not just called gravity potions, are they? I don't think there's actually anything special in the sky. The Star Scouter might actually have something to do with that. Uh, no, you just have to use this high in the sky. So we're going to need to be high in the sky anyways in order to use that to summon the uh, Star Scouter. But we're going to just try to float around the sides of our world and find some floating islands. And because I want to see if there's anything new in them or if there's anything else new in the sky in general. I doubt there will be, but there could uh, potentially be something so we're gonna take a look and then we're gonna get into the meat of this episode which is uh going to be fighting the granite energy storm and the buried champion so yeah we'll get into that uh after this also i'm gonna go over like the new stuff that's in the biomes because they there's a pretty there's like a relatively heavy overhaul of the biomes as well um <laughs> that i noticed so you know we're gonna take a look at that as well because i cut out some of the stuff about that um, in, in my last video, even though I did experience some of it, uh, just in order to, you know, make the video a better length and not have too much nonsense in it that wasn't related to the episode. But yeah, like I said, we will get to that. Uh, but, you know, just uh, just be patient, a little bit of patience. First, we gotta, we got to explore some islands and uh, have some nestlings to deal with, I guess. I should also probably look on the wiki and make sure I'm actually getting all of the different... Oh my goodness, what is that? A wind elemental. Uh, all right, so there is multiple changes already in the sky to the enemies specifically. Uh, we have nothing really in here. We have a shiny red balloon, which is nice. Also, let's put on our mixtape instead of this mining charm that we've got. I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. Oh shit, I almost crashed into that. <laughs> I wasn't paying enough attention, dude. I'm kind of tired right now. Like, I woke up not too long ago, um, and it's uh, not really the move right now, but I do kind of have to get stuff done um, today because tomorrow I'm going to hang out with uh, a friend or with a bunch of friends, um, and that's going to be an all-night thing probably, or I'm going to leave and come back, like, <laughs> you know, early in the morning, like at 3 a.m. or something. Okay, so here we are at the edge of the world, uh, the left side of the edge of the world, that is, or the left edge of the world, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna go right back and take another grab potion since ours ran out. All right, uh, let's go up once more and try to find some more stuff on the other side of our world. Hopefully we'll find more things and also something new i would like to find something new i'll just look it up if i don't actually find anything new in the chests because i would think that they would have made some sort of change or put something in the sky other than a couple of new enemies um that don't really appear to do anything but uh, i could be wrong okay here's another floating island these are really like low down for the most part like i mean this one's not but like look, look at this one look how close that is to um to just the the ground that's kind of crazy there's another one right there if i could not get a third horseshoe i would be grateful okay star fury it's interesting it's not a horseshoe uh it's not useful to me but you know it's still nice whatever bro another floating island so, so, sun fury i almost said sun fury no that's star fury star fury has been obtained once more i can't speak dude like, is this even gonna be an episode? Like, am I, am I, can I can I post this? Is this like, I don't know, man, because I'm kind of already falling apart and I don't know what to do about it. I need some like energy supplements or something. Like, I I, I like I need something to stimulate my brain, um, very clearly. I I don't I don't really know how to go about this. Uh, I guess we can just buy potions first. And then we're going to need to find suitable locations to fight these bosses in. I'm going to grab, like, two sets of each of these just for 
you know, each boss fight. I honestly expect we're gonna have to uh, do each of these multiple times, but we'll we'll see. Maybe not the Grand Energy Storm, the Buried Champion, we might have to though. And okay, so first of all, let's find somewhere on the map to do this. Uh, I don't, that's a spider biome down there. Um, we have, this is the Viscounts area. In the jungle, we found a bunch of places. Here is a marble biome underneath the beehive that we found that looks fairly big. Um, where else? There's another one over here. This one looks kind of longer. This one kind of looks larger overall. And there's also a granite biome right next to it. So that could work as a good place to stage our boss fights. Also, I have these this mining potion still for some reason. I really need to look into how the cook works, honestly. Um, I, I need to get some better thorium healing food. I gotta, I gotta get some upgrades, bro. I guess we'll go into the jungle then. Uh, we will go into the jungle and with a potion and go from there. Let me buy the potion from you, sir. What is this? I can actually buy this, right? Was was I able to, able to buy those before? The jelly and the chestnut? I don't know. I teleported to the wrong thing. Good on me. I'm really good at this game. I'm just, I'm just brain dead right now, dude. Honestly, like, I, my energy is so low. It's just, like, really crappy. But I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know, don't know what to do about it. All right. Spawn in the wall, like, uh, like always. So, granted, by I'm right there. This one was kind of weird, though. I remember. So, oh, goodness. How do we get down there? I guess, like, this. And then... No, uh, go down the railway and then down. Because that that's where I was digging in order to try to find a beehive. And I never found one down there, obviously. But that is where I was going. Uh, like, I just dug straight down. I don't think I actually put this in the video. Because uh, it was getting, like, too long. I was spending too much time in the jungle. I spent so much time looking for that goddamn mini boss, the corpse bloom or whatever. Like, it just, it took, like... The entirety of me doing that was like 10 minutes of the video, and I'm like, well, now I kind of got to shorten this a little bit somehow. So cut out a lot of exploration and just leave in some funny bits that probably nobody ever saw because nobody watches my videos. But we have some um, enemies, interesting enemies in the granite biome like this. The uh, granite, whatever the hell that was called. Okay, so we have these though, and there is a counterpart to this in the... Marble Biome, the Granite Energy Core, which we can use to make a lot of stuff. We can make a fishing rod. We can make uh, an entire armor set, it looks like. Um, a pickaxe, which is a strong one. It's the same power as the Dark Steel pickaxe. It's meant to be post-Skeletron, is the thing. Like, all of this stuff becomes available after you beat Skeletron. Um, we have the Boombox, Granite Boombox, which I would like to make, so we are going to end up, you know... Wow, there's a lot of granite sl slimes down there. Why is there so many granite slimes down there? Hey guys, uh, I mean, having fun? And I guess we're just gonna wait on the spawner for this thing to show up. Uh, and in the meantime, I will start mining out this area a little bit in order to make a better, you know, area. For the boss fight i think i'll remove the rails as well i don't really want them like in the way of me like seeing stuff bongos the all-powerful bongos will be our weapon of choice for now since you know we don't have to aim because who the fuck likes aiming dude okay that's not what i meant to do no uh just teleport away do i not have a nurse if she's right there i am so blind come on man what is happening to me 81 copper what did she say? I don't want to see you jumping off of whatever. Well, you know, I could have potentially fought the energy storm. I don't think it was that big of a deal, honestly. I probably could have done it. Uh, at least given it a shot and not just ran away like a bitch, but... Uh, mm, you know, fuck you, dude. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, man. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, granite boombox, though. Grab that. It's muted, so it's ass, basically. Good to know. Um, so we have this boom bop. What the hell? Okay, wait, what does this do? Releases some sick granite beats around you. While active, nearby enemies are overflowed and repelled. That's a really 
deep and strange sound. Okay, so let me check out what this does. That is really cool. I really do like that. That That is a sick item. It actually shoots at stuff, like, that is, and it's just passively, so you can just, just switch back and forth. That is really awesome. That's a cool item. Okay, nice. Uh, there's a worm attempting to uh, converge on my ass. Could you not do that? All right, I guess we're just ready to fight it. Honestly, dude, look at that thing just like sitting menacingly down there. It's pretty spooky. The boom box, we're gonna use it pop our buffs and attack this thing all right so here it is it's oh shit this is not the move so using this might actually be i mean that's so much damage oh boy okay that was insanely effective and there's a an actual enemy here because of course there is oh shit okay didn't expect that fast moving oh boy projectiles as well nice ouch okay so for for these though the these bongos are just insane i mean like look at how fast those die that is ridiculous man let's get some calaveras in here i guess they're not gonna this place isn't uh effective enough or isn't uh like airtight enough to really get that going i guess we'll use our thorium healing it's only down for a minute oh goodness i'm not doing very well at avoiding that when that happens it, also, it is nice that uh, we are able to get a load of music notes out of this, though. I would like to... Uh... Oh my god, I almost just died. I don't know what the hell I'm dying from. Okay, I'm getting very heavily assaulted now. Okay, not good. Uh, let's just defeat all these once again. Evasive maneuvers have been activated. Oh boy. Oh, goodness. Okay, we got it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, okay, I don't know what burst me down so hard, but there we go. We got an Arcane Eye of the Storm. While in combat, Granite Energy will slowly seep out and damage enemies. That's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't even notice this was a Bard class item. Can you stop? Oh, my God. You are so annoying. Quit it. Okay, so here is our Marble Biome which we are most definitely going to need to shave down. Also, I didn't actually read the item. Hold on. Uh, so this is just... What does this turn into? Heart of the Jungle. While in combat, magical vines will quickly seek out and damage nearby enemies. That sounds interesting. Could you, like, not, bro? Also, I used it, like, three times there. This freaking boombox. I don't think that actually does anything, though. Okay, so it increases inspiration regeneration rate by 10%. The symphonic damage you deal is stored to a maximum capacity of 1,000. Pressing the accessory ability key will increase the damage of nearby allies by 15%. The duration of the effect is increased by 3 seconds for every 100 damage stored. Does that work for me as well, though? Yeah, so apparently, I guess it, it doesn't work, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, this thing, I don't think is actually going to be that helpful. I'll take a look at it, though. I, I like the visuals of these. Uh, let, let me see how, how, how this works. Um, if it decides to work. Okay, there you go. I have to be, like, dealing damage. It looks like it could do a significant amount of damage, honestly. Like, it looks decent. I don't know if it's effectively more. I mean, that, that is a lot of damage. I don't know if it's effectively more than my band kit, though. I really don't. Um, I guess I could take it out for, for the mixtape. Uh, I think the band kit does do, do more than the, than the mixtape does. Also, I still have auto pause on. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's not my fault. This is nice, though. It's like a sports sack. Like, it, it does the same thing that a sports sack does. It doesn't even seem to be, t um, linked to, like, damage, damaging stuff. There just has to be, like, enemies around. It's a nice item. Like, that's very, very nice. But we're gonna cut out a big old, like, flattish area because... Like I think I did mention, um, the Berry Champion is a small target. It's a small boss. Um, hey, can you not do that? Like, please. Go away. Go away, bro. And then there's these fucking ancient phalanx. Phalanx. I don't know how you really say that word. Anyways, I'm kind of sad that the, um, the, that the other item doesn't work, though. It seems interesting. Like, it's kind of cool. And I like the, I like the visual of it, but... You have to be playing with friends in order for it to work. Um, 
I hope that bar isn't kind of like underpowered if you're not playing it with other people. It doesn't seem to be the case. Like, it seems to work fine. What am I doing? Stop dashing. Come on, man. It seems to work fine uh, on its own. So, and I, I mean, I don't think they would make it so that you can't play with other people. Although I think healer class is, you know, kind of like that. I'm sure you can still use it, but it just seems like you're missing out so much with healer class. Um, if you're not playing that with friends, which is, you know, a reason I want to, I want to, I want to do something like that sometime. Can I actually get into this little, little crack, please, bro? Preach. I will mine out the top area up here just to give myself more space since I do think I'm going to need a significant amount. It's going to be difficult to hit this boss. It's going to be a small flying target. And I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I can actually beat it. Actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, no, I didn't need to do that. I didn't even notice that there was another one of the spawners. I was going to do something actually really quick. Uh, so give me like, give me a couple, couple, what is just, what, what happened? I don't know. The champion is no longer after me though. So that is fine by me. I shall be right back. All right, there we go. We have a nice little rectangle here. I would hope it's big enough for what we want to accomplish. Also, I didn't actually take a look at these, but there is another armor set. This one is specifically for throwing. I don't know or I don't have any any idea what the um, the granite armor set is, but this one is for throwing. We have a tuning fork and a brass cap. So there's a couple of things that we have for bards that we're gonna take a look at once we have finished here. So let's um, just, uh, let's uh, g g give this thing a shot. There is the buried champion. You can see flying boy right here. Uh, difficult to hit, which is, you know, a thing. We can get him with the boombox, potentially. Uh, not the boombox, the, the bongos. The boombox, too, I, I think, but, uh, you know. Like, this is very nice, though. As you can see, I think the majority of our damage is coming from the, um, the granite energy, which is, I mean, not really cheesy, but just convenient. Oh, boy. Uh, if you could not do that. I could probably also hit him through walls uh, with the bongos, which is, you know, useful. This might potentially be useful. I don't know. I can't really see this doing that much. I am getting, like, wrecked here, though. Come on, man. Don't do that. Oh, man. He just he shoots so many. I I'm so bad at dodging these. Oh, no. I gotta work, I gotta focus on dodging for a few seconds. Like, they're, they're just, oh my god, he's just constantly in my way of actually dodging around as well. Oh, what is happening? What is going on? Oh my goodness, what is happening? Oh, stop. No, he just ran into me, dude. I couldn't, like, I can't even run away. Well, we died. We almost got him, but I just, we're kind of ran into a lot of stuff like a dummy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I kind of just deserved to die there. I didn't really play that super well. Um, but, all right, that was a good, that was a good try. It was, uh, you know, decent. We got him really low. Uh, how many of my potions are still available? I think that's, this is all of them, isn't it? I'm missing, like, maybe one. It should be good enough. Uh, let's uh, get all this stuff down, though. Or down, what? get this stuff into the storage also i kind of want to check out the vanquisher shop before i forget again what is this thing the shellies right this is what what it is and then we have one of the golden things which we kill the golden bat we have pinky the world ender obviously damsel of distress uh don't let that be the end of you with his contract deep within the snow caves there hides a creature masquerading as a defenseless young girl once close enough however you'll see she's not so defenseless take her out if you find her so that's going to be a nymph do they really only spawn in snow biomes is that how that works if it's a nymph what is a grim pedestal i'm gonna have to take a look at that i managed to track down an elusive dark caster in the deeper levels of our world by the name of tim Names aside, he's got quite a bit of power behind him, but one fatal weakness. It seems he's quite prideful of his outfit, thinking he's his better than any other. Maybe you should wear a gem robe to lure him out? 
The, is that how Tim works? Ark of the Lost Raider. Many adventurers have braved the intense foliage of the jungle, but even fewer return. I sent a friend of mine, Dr. Bones, out on a mission to the jungle quite a while ago, but he hasn't returned. Could you go check out the jungle surface at night and see if you can find any signs of him? What? <laughs> Beast in the maze. Uh, the dungeon is bad, bad enough with skeletons and slimes roaming around, but with the raging minotaur loose, it gets even more complicated. That beast can charge at incredible speeds, blindsiding anyone not paying attention and crippling their movement. Don't get staggered out there, kid. So that's like, it like stuns you or it confuses you. Uh, we got Theseus's thread. The haggard hagglers. Uh, let's see. The hags. Okay, so yeah, that's for the hags. The jungle, ocean, and sky. I thought that they might they might appear in the ocean, and they do, and the underworld as well, apparently, aside from the two spots that we already know that they do, which we can get a totem collar, and then uh, defeat the terrifying, terrifying, terrifying wall of flesh to continue. Really? It's only two? I've only defeated two others? Interesting. Oops, nope, wrong dude. I want to check my, my shop. What do these do? Well, that's nice. Uh, I don't really think I'll need that for anything. I don't think I'll need a teleport to the dungeon since I already have one because, you know, this guy. That's that's cool, though. I do like that. Uh, it summons a chosen totem sentry at your cursor's position. Right-click to switch between four different totem elements. That's a summon a weapon, which is cool. Um, summons a glitter fiend to follow you around. Allows you to view the tracker's available contracts at any time. I guess I'll grab this. The tracker's board. I would like to do these. Like, I would like to get all these done. I think that's a really nifty thing. Um, this, you can get um, money from it. The skinning blade. And then this is a pet. Also, I keep forgetting to actually activate my maid. Because I, I hide her for, um, what do you call it? Uh, for thumbnails. Because obviously you don't want that in the thumbnail. Uh, so let's do this though. Little, this little ghost, little glitter ghost. So I'll keep the broom on me because I do like the maid still, but, uh, I'll go with the, the glitter ghost for a little bit. Um, I would like to see what this does. So let me, let me take a look and I'm not going to get Theseus's thread since I don't need that. Um, summons a chosen totem at your cursor's position. Right click to switch between four different totems. Uh, okay. So that's cool. So there's a bunch of different ones. What do they do? I'm gonna actually check this out. I'm gonna bring this into the jungle with me as I go back in, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so that does a simple projectile. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanna see what each of these totems does, if anything different, and that just summoned way too far down. Shoots a rock, apparently. Super slow, at least that version of the totem. Let's see. Water totem, or, t wow, that's interesting. This is like a wind totem. Hold on, I guess I should do it like right here, maybe. That's cool. I, I do think that this, this like th this, this is a fun item. This is, this is cool. What is that? A life crystal mimic? What the hell? Why have I never seen that? <laughs> where, where did that come from? And this was just like a fountain. This is a cool item. All right, nifty. Uh, okay, so we're gonna pop all of our buffs and kill this thing once more. Give this another shot. Just gotta be more careful this time not to get hit by everything, um, which is kind of just what my downfall was last time. Getting hit immediately is not good, but it's okay. Uh, let's just dodge. It's not that hard in the beginning, honestly, at all. And we do get a lot of passive damage because of the items we got. This music is kind of kind of nice too. Also, I gotta stop using up all my my goddamn inspiration, bro. Okay, we need to do better during this phase though. Mainly is the thing, cause that's where I struggled last time. I was just getting wrecked by the by the uh, the arrows. I think we're doing pretty well though uh, right now. Just burning him down. Oops, I did not go up all the way to that platform. Dodging between those arrows. Not bad. Can use some uh, some of that and, you know, not charge up my, my shit. What is even hitting me right there? Oh, he's shooting. Oh, I'm getting, like, smacked by little, like, one one damage. One damages. Z -z 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 I can't speak, dude. I'm bad. Um, oh, boy. 
Uh, I think we're, we're good, though. I think we got this in the bag. Ouch, or not, if we keep getting smacked. I still don't know what we're getting hit by, though. Oh, that was a projectile that I got hit by, and we got him. All right, so that wasn't that bad, as long as I was a little bit careful at all, which I just was not not the first time. Um, Champion's Wings, we get a little bit of flight. I don't think that's worth it at all. I mean, like, look, do you think... Do you, do, 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 yeah. Wow, I cannot speak at all. Does it look like we have space for items, bro? Uh, anyways, that's gonna be all. No, it's not. I have to make the, uh, the, um, the stuff, the tuning fork and the, the brass cup or whatever and show these off really quick. Uh, you know, look at me jump, jump in the, jump in the shark, bro. Or jump in the gun, jump in the shark. What the hell? I don't know, man. Uh, tuned enemy. So this is just for brass instruments, which I'm not gonna end up using. I'm gonna, I made it just because to make it, right? But this has a 50% chance to tune enemies, and tuned enemies take 10% more damage. Uh, but only for brass instruments, and, um, I mean, like, I'm not really doing instrument specifics right now. This does the same thing when you damage, or when you hit enemies with it, it tunes them, causing them to tank 10% more damage, uh, and it gives you jump height too. So this is, like... You literally, you just throw it. You just throw it, and it it, tune, it tunes them. I mean, like, like, look at this. It also doesn't it doesn't actually take that much inspiration. So that's not a terrible weapon, honestly. That has decent damage, and it does. It can probably just let your um, other weapons do more, right? Because it tunes them. Uh, but yeah, this will you know this will be a damage amp for our other weapons, I would imagine. So may as well. And it does hold up. It's doing like 180 up to 180. And this does, like, what, 210, 220 or something? This does way more. What the fuck, dude? I think this item just does way more in general, though. I mean, like, I don't think this item really does that much, like, anywhere near. Like, you can get it up to, to pretty high damages, but this, the Bone Trumpet just does so much more single target damage than anything else that I have. Uh, so that, that's just that. This, this does hold its own, though, and has a use. Um, I think, anyways. But, well, that'll just have to remain to be seen, right? Uh, that's gonna be all for this episode, though. I hope that you guys did enjoy. It was kind of all over the place. I'm, like, tired and, like, bleh. I'll hit my mic. Sorry. I don't know if you heard that, but smacked it with my hand as I'm waving them around, uh, like, gesturing to nobody because I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Um, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.